So we seized upon that opportunity, but we'd always got a vision to create a visitor economy. This is a key component of the visitor economy. We want to bring people here to use this space, but also we want to be inclusive. So as you can see, the works that took place was to put the calf downstairs so it's accessible for disabled people in wheelchairs, and we've achieved that. That's really important. But the opportunity, again, is for us to bring as many people into this city to see our city, but also to come and visit the Art Gallery and the CAF. Profs have been absolutely fantastic. Everything we've asked of them, they've done and achieved it, brought it in on time. What's also pleasing for me for the local economy is they're just over the border in Cannock. So in utilising local skills and local labour in a project that wants to be used and we want it to be used by our local people. And every time I walked in, the first time I walked in, it was that wow factor, really was, because it's now light and bright and it just spotlights us the, what we want our city to be in the future. We surveyed to see what were the best names would be, you know, considering it was, uh, uh, we want to use the, the theme of Liechtenstein and pop art, so we used that. And the, what came back from them overwhelmingly was the word glaze. So that's why we've called it glaze. And I think it does fit there. After it being dark and dank, now we've got a glaze that glows in from the sun. To be quite honest, my first impression was, wow because I had seen it um, in terms of the construction when it was uh, in, in its early stages. And to see it now as a finished product, I'm just, I think it's fantastic. And I think the people in Wolverhampton themselves will be really impressed. And I get to see that basically people will come in to enjoy the cafe as much as to enjoy the artwork that's on display. And we certainly do have a fantastic collection of art in Wolverhampton. I think the city ought to be very, very proud of the people involved and those who set up a marvellous space like this. I mean, I'm really proud um, just from the point that you enter the building now um, with that wonderful double ramped entrance coming into this cafe that's so light and airy and you feel really like you're in a sort of national museum almost. It's, you know, really that high quality offer um, and it really complements the rest of the building. Um, the, the cafe really, you know, it's a de going to be a destination in itself. And what we really want is for people to come into the cafe and then have a look around the rest of the building um, to create that welcoming feel um, so that then people think that, you know, while they're here, they might like to go and have a look at the exhibitions and, and permanent displays um, and vice versa. You know, people that are coming specifically for an exhibition um, you know, might like to have some lunch or some tea. Um, hopefully that will increase the amount of time that they want to spend in our building. And so there's real opportunities there. And also, you know, we will be able to open for evening functions. And so we're already thinking now about the sorts of activities and events we might put on in the evening for people to stay, you know, whether that's music events or practical art workshops, um, so that, you know, people can have something to eat and drink um, and you know, engage in some kind of creative activity too. So when we were thinking about um, the design for the cafe, we wanted to look at how we could give it that real unique brand and feel. And so we thought about our collections and how they could be the inspiration behind the design. And you can see behind me, we've got some of our, our famous pop art collection on the walls, which was acquired in the 1960s and 70s, and which Wolverhampton's become really well known for. And we even used one of our paintings by Roy Lichtenstein as the inspiration for the color palette. So the blues and the greys and the greens and the deep purple give it that really vibrant feel. And those are all the colors that are in the painting called Purist Painting with Bottles by Roy Lichtenstein.